Hello to my Argyle Beginner Band students and anyone else who may be watching these. Uh, this is James McNair, and uh, I'm going to be going through what we call the Tetrachord Titans in class. We have these numbered 1 through 12 on the left-hand column and 13 through 24 in the right-hand column. So what I'm going to do today is play the entire left-hand column. And uh, what I'm going to do first is with each line, I'm going to say and position each note, and then I'm going to play the four-note tetrachord. So this is tetrachord number one. It starts on A. So we have A, B, C sharp, D. Positions are two, seven, that's with the trigger, five, and four. <laughs> Tetrachord number two is B flat, C, D, and E flat. First, sixth, use your trigger if you're a trombone player, or fourth valve if you're a euphonium. D and fourth, E flat and third. Next, we have number three. It starts on B in seventh position, C sharp in fifth. D sharp in third, and E in second. Next we have C. C is in sixth position, or with the trigger down. D in fourth, E in second, and F in first. Next we have D flat. Starting in fifth position for D flat, third position for E flat, first position for F, and back to fifth position for G flat. Next, we have D. D is in fourth, E is in second, F sharp is in fifth, and G is in fourth. Next, we have E flat. E flat is in third, F is in first, G is in fourth, and A flat is in third. Next, we have E. E is in second, F sharp is in fifth, G sharp is in third, and it ends on A in second. Next, we have F, and this one starts down on low F in sixth position. Six for F, G in fourth, A in second, and ends on B flat in first. Next, we have G flat. G flat is in fifth position. A flat's in third, B flat's in first, and then C flat, same position, same as a B natural, is in trigger flat second, or we call it seventh position. Next we have G. G is in fourth, A is in second, B we have to lower a little bit and use our trigger, and then we end in sixth position or with a trigger for a C. Next and the final one on the left hand column is A flat. A flat in third, B flat in first, C, you may use your trigger or fourth valve if you're a euphonium, and then we end in fifth position on D flat. So that's the entire left-hand column. The right-hand column, we're calling the top one tetrachord number 13, and it goes down the page 13 through 24, okay? So this one is E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Next, we have F, G, A, 
B flat. This is tetrachord number 14. Next, we have F sharp in fifth, G sharp in third, A sharp in first, and B natural in fourth. Next, we have a G, followed by A, followed by B natural again, and then third position used for the high C. This is tetrachord 16. Next, we have the tetrachord that starts on A flat in third, B flat in first, high C is in third, and then high D flat, we're gonna play in second position, or second valve if you're a euphonium. Next, we have the tetrachord that starts on A natural in second, B natural in fourth, C sharp in second, and high D in first. Next, we have B flat in first, C in third, D in first, and high E flat back to third. Next, we start on B natural in fourth, C sharp in second, D sharp is the same position as E flat in third, and then high E is also in second. Next, we have the low C tetrachord, C, D in fourth, E in second, and F in first. And next we have the D flat tetrachord, fifth position D flat, third position E flat, first position F, and then we end in fifth position G flat. Next, we have the D tetrachord, D, E natural in second, F sharp in fifth, and G in fourth. And then the last one is the E flat tetrachord. This is number 24. E flat in third, F in first, G in fourth, and back to third for A flat. Hopefully this helps you learn uh, if you're missing any information about uh, note names or positions for any of the 24 tetrachords that we've been working on in class. This helps you out. Uh, be on the lookout for my next video where I play all 12 of the major scales from your Scale Masters page.